MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. I'm in Douse Engineering today in Bletchley, opportune actually, they're just having a new Matsura machine installed, but that's not the reason we're here. We've actually come to talk to the guys about Open Mind or Open Minds Hypermill software. They've been using it for over a decade and they're going to tell us why. Nick, so often we're in machine shops and we're looking at machine tools, the technologies and how fast they can produce parts. But integral in all that process is how you program them. You use the Open Mind software and you know how do you get on with it and what do you like about it? Uh, no, we get on it really well, the Open Mind software. Um, it's very easy to use and fast to program with. Uh, How long have you been using it? I've been using it for nine years now. So, um, you know, know the software quite well and never really had any issues with it, to be honest. Um, and, and do you use it for everything you do here at Dow's Engineering, everything that you program or machine? Yeah, everything we program and machine uh, is done in the Hypermill software. And is that your job? Yeah, that's my job, yeah, to program it. Myself and Steve, um, we program the parts and uh, it's our job to make sure they come out as they should and it's safe when you do it as well. And, and wouldn't it, would you say that, 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 I mean, that's a massive factor. Using the Hypermill software, it is reliable, so you don't have to worry too much about what's going to come off the machine. Yeah, it's, uh, it offers good simulation functions as well, so you can be quite confident that what you produce on the computer in the office uh, is what's going to come off of machines at the end of the day. And you're not going to make scrap? Hopefully not, anyway. No, it, it really does reduce the chance of scrapping it. Um, we have great confidence that it collision checks against the model, the machine. And I, yeah, no. and, and I notice here you, you five axis, we've got the DMGs behind us, but you've also got Matsura horizontal machining centres. So it doesn't matter whether it's not five axis, even if it's if, even if it's you know a prismatic job that's just face machining, that's what the hypermill does for you too, or programs as well. Yeah, we uh, five axis, four axis, three axis, I've even used it for wiring in the past. It's very versatile. Uh, offers, you know, and, and this part here, I mean, this looks quite a lot of machining involved in that. I'd be interested for our viewers to know how long something like that takes to program. A part like this uh, would probably take about, to, to program complete, about 24 hours. Um, but the beauty is you can, from receiving the model, you can have it roughing out on a machine within an hour of receiving the order because we're that confident in the collision check-in against the part itself that... Um, so if you had a model come through, literally within, within a day, you can be making something like this? Oh, providing you've got the material and the, the spindle capacity, then yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And what I know here, you've got two parts. This is, a, this is another one. Do you know the programming time or something like that? It looks very similar, is it? Yeah, the programming time is very similar. Uh, it's not really material dependent when you're programming because the software offers a lot of assistance um, in helping you with the speeds and feeds. Is that because the material is different here? Yeah, the material is different here. It's a uh, 17 4PH stainless steel. Uh, but from a programming perspective, it's equally as easy to program that as it is the aluminium part. OK, um, I was also very, very uh, interested to see, and we'll have a, a, a closer look in a minute. You've got these blocks here, which I believe are for a, a high-performance sports car. Yep. What, 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 I mean, how long would something like that take to program? Uh, something like that, there's probably about 40 hours programming time and something like that because there's a lot of uh, complicated five axis moves due to the deep pockets and the long tools so yeah and, and the value in something like that that comes back to the reliability you, you don't want to be scrapping something of that sort of nature do you no absolutely not you want to be confident that when you put that block of aluminium on the machine that it's going to come off right because it's a uh, expensive lump of um, aluminium it is brilliant i've, I've enjoyed uh, speaking to you today nick thanks for your time no thank you very much so you can see from talking to Nick there how important software and the Hypermill product is within their manufacturing process. Ken from Open Mind is actually here on site today. So I'm going to go and have a chat with him, look at some more parts and get, and get his take on this uh, Douse Engineering as one of his accounts. Ken, looks like you've got a very satisfied customer here in Douse Engineering. Have you got plenty of those? Yeah, lots of these, uh, Paul. There's uh, you know, all over the country uh, and worldwide doing uh, with high value machinery, uh, doing complex components. Uh, we spoke recently in one of our vodcasts about digital technology and how it's changing the way manufacturers manufacture. Do you see companies like this as not the only types of people that are looking at your software? 
Uh, yes, we are. I mean, uh, everyone now is looking for cost savings. Uh, and you know, where you can get big cost savings is reducing your programming time. So taking the programming off the machine tool and doing it offline so the machine tool can be running. And then also, you know, with CAD CAM, you can do a lot more with the parks. You can really visualize what you're doing. Uh, and then you can really you know, start to not, not quite huge, huge lumps out of your cycle times. And do you ever go into customers and think, I can't believe you're not using CAD CAM? Very frequently, yes. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's quite amazing how people are actually still getting by without CAD CAM. So it does go to show there's, there's still a lot that really can, can, can be saved. From an educational perspective, it's important to get the message out there. I mean, we've looked at some bigger parts, but these are examples of sort of smaller things they're doing here at Douse. Yeah, there's some quite intricate features on here, uh, some very small fillet radiuses where, you know, these are obviously quite key to the design. So rather than compromising the design, this is where five axis technology really comes into its own. Uh, so you can really get uh, you know, the access with the smaller tooling. Ken, well, thanks for your time today. It's been a pleasure being here and, and learning more about what your software can do. Thanks, Paul. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.